This training video demonstrates how to construct a type 1 gauge study using Minitab 15. So the first thing that you would do is launch Minitab and in column C1 you would add in your raw data. So you go to your raw data wherever you may have that stored and in this case it's stored in a Excel spreadsheet. And this here is my raw data of my, of my study. So I'm going to copy that back to Minitab, right click, paste it into C1 column. I also want to give this a title. So you go back to your raw data and this is called fat percent. So copy that back to Minitab, paste that into column C1. Then you go to Stat, Quality Tools, Gauge Study, and then left click on Type 1 Gauge Study. Measurement data, you would highlight C1, which is where the data resides, and then select that. In the reference dialog box, what you want to put in there is the average or the mean of the data set. So you go back to your raw data, and the mean or the average of that raw data, which is demonstrated here, is 4.16. Back to mini tab, so you type in 4.16. In the tolerance dialog box, what you would put in here is the upper specification limit minus the lower specification limit. So in this case, my lower specification limit is 2.80 and my upper specification limit is 5.50. So 5.50 minus 2.80 is 2.7. So you would type in 2.7 here. In the gauge information you can type in the gauge name, so in this case it's fat percent study. The date of the study, which in this case would be March the 10th, 2011. It's reported by myself, Fred, Fred Weber King and any other miscellaneous information. I'll click OK. You're all done here. We can click on options. Leave this set at 20 and leave that set at 6.0. You don't need to check any of this. Click OK. Click OK here. And this gives us our graph. This is our run chart of our type 1 gauge study. As we can see, our capability is very good. It's well above the threshold of 1.33. The gauge variability is very good too. Typically you like to see this no higher than 15 percent. This is clearly well below that at 4.49. As we move over here, this is our mean, of course. Our standard deviation is very good, that's 0 0.02. And of course you can save the project by file, save as. We can give this a name such as fat percent study one and you can say that to any file that you wish we'll just save this to the desktop and just click save this concludes the training on how to do a type 1 gauge study in Minitab 15